Nets get the job done, although, Sarah, it wasn't a pretty one. Well, we talked about this with James Harden after the game. These games are still important, the ones that are mucked up. I, I think that also was the concept for this Nets team of just learning how to win in different ways, and we see this. We talked about the start of the last game against Boston coming out of the All-Star break, all the rust they had to shake off. Well, I think there was a, there was still some <laughs> rust in a few parts for the Nets, particularly from the three-point line. Give credit to Detroit. They played hard. They played physical. They did an excellent job in crashing the O-glass and creating some extra opportunities for themselves, but over all for the Nets, I think, to your point, we just saw a team that had to continue to battle throughout this game and find ways to get stops and also the closing moments for James Harden when he was able to take over. And that has been a characteristic of this Nets team, regardless what has happened throughout the course of the game, finding ways during closing time. And they did that once again here tonight. James Harden finished with the last 10 points for the Nets in this game. They struggled collectively from three. Both teams really couldn't put it in the rim for from three-point range, James Harden and Kyrie Irving combined to go 0 for 12, but they still found a way. We talked a lot about that February 9th being a turning point. What's going to be the key moving forward? They've come full circle with Detroit. What's going to be the key moving forward to make sure that they stay on the straight and narrow? I think it's the same type of things, and this is probably more of what we saw in the first half, but it trickled throughout the course of the game. Just attention to detail, and for as much as we focus on the Nets' defense, a lot of that comes from the fact that ways in which they can mitigate some of those areas by taking care of the basketball, not putting pressure on their defense in terms of transition defense and giving teams easy runouts, and also taking care of the defensive glass. And Steve Nash has said on multiple occasions, we, we do not profile as a great defensive team. And in many cases, the rebounding with the lineups that they have have been an issue and an aspect that they need to find ways to shore up. But I think it's those type of little things and the fact that uh, Pistons scored less than 100 points. So it, it was a grinded out game, but for the Nets each and every night to just find ways to get better, improve themselves. And we saw that as you were waiting to interview James Harden on the court, and he was still having a conversation with DeAndre Jordan still trying to work out some of the kinks. Still trying to figure things out for sure, which is, again, a very encouraging sign when you're talking about this Nets team that's won 12 of their last 13 games. If they want to make it 13 of 14, they're going to need to get a victory on Monday against the New York Knicks. Your early thoughts on that matchup. Speak, speaking of teams that play hard, and Tom Thibodeau and this team has done a tremendous job in coming to play every single night and what they've done on the defensive end of the floor. And so I think we've seen the capabilities of the New York Knicks just in how they can lock you down in different aspects. And then they have capable offensive players that on any given night, uh, they can start to get hot a young team however you know they have enough experience in certain positions that they're going to come in ready to play the nets seem to get the best out of every single team and i guarantee you they're going to get the best out of the new york knicks nets may not have all hands on deck for that game but we will sarah myself rj and ian eagle back in the big chair nets get the job done behind another triple double from james harden